previously on Jet's Fishing Adventures. It's a good one, guys. Stay on, stay on. Oh my gosh, stay on. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. 22 and a quarter. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Jet's Fishing Adventures. This is part two of the 48 hour tournament. It's about 6.30, 7 o'clock on Saturday. We got till 2 o'clock on Sunday to um, fish. So we already got the 22 inch incher. I got, um, I got eight or what is it? I think I got 89 and three, or no, I got 81 and three quarters. I got a 13 and a half that I really need to get rid of. And I need to get rid of all the 14s as you see right here. Um, hopefully, we can call out i'm going back where i caught that 22 so um we'll see what happens but thanks for watching and um let's just jump into this video all right <laughs> yeah it's probably a little guy there's one are you on my log nah I'm on another log that I just found. There we go. Say what? What do you mean? Fourteen and a half. Let's go. Yeah. There's one. Oh god. He hit it right at the boat. Oh, frog. Yeah. I don't think he'll call. Thirteen inches. Little thirteen inches. Not going to happen. Yeah, we're here in that ground. I was hoping the big mamas would come. Go back up in here. Yeah. Seeing some surface activity, but I know I just caught that one, but I haven't seen anything big. Uh, osprey over here. An osprey. Twin rotor osprey or the bird kind? <laughs> Say that again. I said the twin rotor osprey or the bird kind. Okay. That's what that helicopter slash plane is called here. Oh yeah, yeah. Osprey. There's one. Oh yeah, that's a that's a keeper. No, that's a coal. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh yes, baby. Woohoo! Well, hold on, I might got you inside. Nah, it's a keeper. I think it's a cool one. I hope. It's definitely a bigger size body fish. Let me say that. Nope. That's a 15 and a quarter. Yeah. Hey, uh, 15 and a quarter. Let's go. Let's just uh, hit that, uh, let's just hit that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, submit fish. Uh, tap that, oh, uh, 15 and a quarter. And then, uh, hit that submit catch. And that's how you do it, folks. Then you gotta hold your phone up in there, because that worked the last time. Well, we're back at the hotel room. We're going to get a little rest. Um, it's about 11 o'clock. We're going to try to wake up about 2 and get out there at 3 and um, fish till 2 o'clock to the end of the tournament. Um, fishing has been tough. It's been a grind. It's been so hot, but it's been fun and uh, we've had a blast. So we'll see what we'll do in the morning. 
Y'all probably can't see it, but here it is. Well, we're back out here. It's about 3.50 in the morning. And uh, we're gonna try to see if we can catch some on top water. Hopefully we can. Uh, don't feel too bad right now, but it's gonna quickly get very hot. Um, I'm not sure what the forecast is today, but it's probably gonna be in the hundreds. Tennessee in the summertime is kind of rough, but uh, it's not anywhere near as bad as Texas, so I have to say that. Um, but hopefully we can get on. I need to get rid of those two small, or those three smaller fish. I got that 22 and I got an 18. I'm sitting in fifth of right now. And, um, I just need to catch some, I need to catch at least a, um, 16 and plus to be able to get back in that fourth spot. And I need to catch a couple 17s and 18s to get in that third spot. And that's before any of the sandbaggers. So we'll uh, give it my best. We're gonna fish till two o'clock. And this is gonna be, a, we're just gonna grind it out in the heat. So let's just see what happens. Good one, good one. Maybe it's already on the water. Do what? I thought you were on the water. Nah. Woohoo! Now it's cold. Oh! You just went through the net. You gotta be kidding me. No. He got off and went. Tired, making mistakes. 
probably about the 16 and 7. Can't tell him a little frustrated. I don't know how I lost that fence. He jumps three times and he gets off when he just dies. Well, we're back at the house. Um, ended up finishing fifth place and my very first one um, big bass. I've gotten close several times, but it's always been, I've always lost by like a quarter of an inch in the tiebreaker. So I'm very thankful that I finally pulled off a big bass win and uh, it's nice for the paycheck. And But I wanted to come back here and show you what baits I caught most of my fish on. Um, three baits mainly played the big player was this striker was this striker 6-0 in the black and blue color it's by torn outdoors if you've watched my channel before you know i've caught a lot of fish off of this lately and um i catch a lot of fish off this time of year on a shaky head one of the best ways i love fishing one um, a lot of people call it finesse fishing i kind of call it like a um a power finesse i don't fish it as slow as most people but during that tournament i was actually having a really slow rolling um, i was mainly targeting points rocky points and lay downs just the lay downs that were barely sticking out of the water that's what i was looking for um, as you can tell i've caught a lot of fish um, over the weekend doing that and uh, another player this time I caught a few on here. I don't think I caught anything that cold, which is kind of unique for this style, but a jig. This is a bad boy jig. Um, two colors stood out. The uh, Money Maker, which is this color. I love that color. Got a little sartreuse or green pumpkin. And you know, you can't go wrong with a black and blue. Uh, definitely at night. I don't know if you can really see that good, but um, I fished out a lot at night and it's paired up with the timber crawl from torn outdoors and the lazy gill that little black and blue with a lazy gill color great contrasting and i just love that little bait and then the third bait that you saw later on in the video fishing over top of the grass was a little buzz toad i love these little buzz toads there's not a funner bite out there really um great on, around grass um not so good on like thick vegetation but that little parcel where you can actually swim it over and it, it, it's lights out. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, really glad that we finally got a top five finish with KBFTN this year. And uh, hopefully we can just keep on this momentum. We got a tournament coming up. Um, at the time of, the, of this video releasing, it'll be the next Saturday. We got a tournament on Old Hickory, which you know I'm not a huge fan of, but we're going to give it our all. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like button and um, subscribe if you want to watch some more awesome fishing content and comment. Comment what's, what are you catching fish on this time of year? For me, it's a shaky head mainly. So um, again, thanks for watching and we'll see y'all next week.